Hello, <clears throat> excuse me, and welcome to today's live coaching call and community conversation. Today we are going to be talking about intermittent fasting lengths, otherwise known as protocols or fasting and feasting windows. And I'm going to go back over and reemphasize the length of time and the windows that women here in this community are using and reaping the best results from that intermittent fasting protocol. So welcome. If you're new, my name is Diane Parham. I am the creator of the online course and community, the intermittent fasting for today's aging woman. Just so you know, if you're interested, the next class starts on November the 5th. Registration will close on the 4th. Everything that I talk about today or registration can be found in the description box. And I will also post it here in our comments on Facebook and YouTube as well. Um, I also am the creator of the Midlife Mindset Shift course, so I know a lot of our graduates are anxiously awaiting for enrollment to open up for that again. We have decided to open it up for a November session, so look in your inbox for an in email invite around the last week of October, and I'll post it on social media so you'll know in case you're not getting uh, emails in your inbox, so you can register for that also. So today, like I said, we are going to be talking about the best intermittent fasting window for women over 50. We know this is the best window because of the feedback that we're getting from our community of women, mostly who are over the age of 50. Some, of course, are under the age of 50. But in general, this is the window that is really helping women heal themselves, right? So they're doing this for themselves on all three levels of healing that we talk about here. The physical side of healing, of course, which is very important to us, but the mental and emotional side as well, and really coming to grips with a lot of the things that we have had to deal with in regards to food and nutrition and taking care of ourselves and really doing things without thinking that have really put us ourselves in some in harm's way, which is why so many of us are aging and not really happy with the way that's happening. So I'm going to share with you guys this little diagram that I share all the time. I think I need to trademark this. We'll work on that. But this is why this window is working so well for so many women and really has become the go-to for the women here in this community. And this is exactly what I teach inside the Intermittent Fasting for Today's Aging Woman course. So a intermittent fasting lifestyle is really defined like this. You pick two windows within a 24 hour period, that's the intermittent part, and you decide how long you want to fast and how well you choose to feast for yourself during that window. And that's really where it's specific to this community here and the way I like to coach as a fasting mindset coach. I give you the power back to decide what works best for you based on how you want to live your life and what it is that you say that you really want for yourself. Again, this is what differentiates this community and the style of coaching that I do and what I teach in my class from the other, um, you know, maybe things that you're hearing on the internet is I'm not going to dictate to you what I think you should do best for you. I want you to make that decision based on how it is you want to look and feel every day and what it means for you as a woman to live your most authentic life because you have to be half be happy in order to really be truly healthy. And the best way to live a healthy lifestyle is to be happy with the lifestyle that you've lived. So that's how we teach here in this community. So we know with intermittent fasting, every day you're going to start a new fast. So you decide what time of the day that works best for you. Again, there is no perfect fasting protocol. There's only the one that you're going to design for yourself that you can consistently stick with over time. So don't think that just because you're skipping breakfast, that that's going to be the magic sauce or the secret pill that you've been missing. Or if you're a person who's decided that dinner time is the time that you're going to skip and that's when you're going to, uh, you know, be most authentic in your lifestyle by having your meals earlier in the morning, like you get to decide. There's no perfect fasting protocol if it's one that's not going to work consistently for you over time. So this is the power you have with this community here. You get to decide. So you pick that time, you start your new fast. You don't do anything within this fasting window that could potentially break your fast, right? So, so many women come into this community feeling really frustrated because they're not losing weight, they're fasting for 20 hours, and because Joe 
whatever down the street said lemon juice is okay in their fasting window because of some study that was done that shows that it does X, Y, Z or doesn't do X, Y, Z, but they're not losing weight. They're not feeling better. They're not reversing the signs of aging, or they're listening to advice from someone that says it's okay that you can put collagen peptides and your butter in your coffee. It's not going to break your fast yet. You're still frustrated and you're not seeing the and getting the results that you were hoping for. So what I teach is a truly fasted state for 20 hours. You're not doing anything to interrupt the opportunity for your body to heal itself at that deepest cellular level. The other thing that really happens for us women here in this community, again, the proof is going to be in the comments I'm about to read, is that you get to reset your mindset. You get to really figure out how food has played a role in your life mentally, emotionally, and physically, and you get to repurpose those decisions, right? You get to understand how your body can, in fact, run on its own accord through boredom, through stress, through um, sickness, through anything that comes up in your life. You question why it is you're using food in certain ways when you are really shooting for that clean, fasted state. This is why it is so important here in this community and why it is serving so many of us, because we are having to stop and think about what decision we're about to make and how that's going to affect what it is we say we really want for ourselves. So we shoot for that 20 hour fast. Now this part, the 12 to the 20 is really where we're making magic happen here in this community. Here, you're fasting and fasting just means you're not doing anything new to interrupt the opportunity for your body to enter into that state of autophagy and that deep healing state. So you're just doing nothing. For most of us, that is stopping dinner time, not doing anything after dinner, going to bed, waking up, and starting your day with just some water. That's going to really get you that nice, solid 12 hours of just not interrupting your body. The 12 hours to the 20 hours is really when you are taking advantage of what I call the fasted state. So here you are fasting, right? And here you are in that fasted state hormonally and chemically where your body goes, okay, she's not going to do anything to interrupt what we have going on here. Let's get to work and start doing that deep healing Let's go to work and start reversing some of those things that she says she's unhappy with. And we're going to trust that she trusts me, my body, and I'm going to get some things done for her to reinforce in her thought process that what she's doing is actually working for her. And that's this time right here. The 16 to 20 hours is really where the best magic and healing opportunities are taking place in this community. For a lot of people, the 16-8, meaning you're fasting for 16 and you're eating for eight, is a really convenient, like easygoing type of fast. And a lot of people are promoting it. But for a lot of us here who have a lot of things that we're trying to reverse or heal, this is just when it starts to happen. The 17 hours is where most people in the intermittent fasting world who are experts are claiming that autophagy happens. So we're just going to trust that that 17 hours to 20 hours is really the deepest healing benefit. This is really where you create that mindset shift of knowing that you can do something you never thought in your wildest dreams you'd be able to do because of some things in your past. Maybe you're hypoglycemic. Maybe you use food in inappropriate ways. Maybe you are um, scared to go without food for that long. All, maybe it's the things you hear on the internet that are kind of deviating you from giving it a try. But when you go for it, and you really start practicing this 20 hour fast, that is where the magic of healing is happening. And we know that again, from the feedback coming from our community. So we have a class going on right now, our October, 2022 intermittent fasting for today's aging woman course. We just finished week one. And here's what I always promise is after the first week, something is going to happen for you. That's going to be in the positive. We have had women report back this weekend who were suffering from the vid long hauler syndrome and their symptoms have vanished. No more symptoms of the vid long hauler syndrome, right? Gone. 
it's a huge mystery in the medical world and their symptoms and the things that were hanging around and nagging them are just gone. We have women who have reported back that weight loss is already happening. Inflammation is gone. One woman just reported this weekend that her blood pressure medication was cut in half over the course of one week of this type of lifestyle here and trusting the process. Skin has improved. Sleep has improved. Hot flashes are going away. It is the magic of taking advantage of the deep healing benefits of this 20-hour fast, and it will continue to be the magic, and the benefits will continue to keep happening if you keep practicing, practicing this lifestyle, and really get honest with yourself about some of the choices that you're making when you're in that feasting window as well. My, my encouragement and my recommendation to a lot of the women who are hanging out here and are scared to jump in with us is trust the community of women who have paved the path before you. There are literally tens of thousands of us here in this community who are proving this is the best intermittent fasting lifestyle for us, specific to us, unique to us, just because of where we are in the season of life that we are in. It is the best way to heal your body. Now, for all of those that are thinking, oh my gosh, I can't imagine, and, and we have them in our course this month as well, uh, who are like the 20 hour fast seems dramatic. It seems a little much, like it seems excessive. Well, so does waking up every day, not looking and feeling your best. So does carrying around extra weight that is taking you unconsciously out of living your best life. So does managing health conditions. So does a lot of the other things that we say we're so unhappy with that's extreme to live very unhappily when the right around the corner is a decision you can make that could change all of that for you. Now, the other comment I get a lot and the other question I get a lot is, do you have to fast this way forever? The answer that's standard for me to everyone that asks me that is I tell my brain every single day that I am a 20 hour faster and a four hour feaster. I just tell my brain that there's no doubt, there's no hesitation. That's where my comfort is. That's where I found the most um, feeling of empowerment in my own life. That's where all the magic and all the things that I was unhappy with seem to go away in that 20 hour fast. But I also am realistic and authentic enough with how it is I live my life that I allow for exceptions and I allow for those memory making moments and to live my life around the people that I love. So you can believe and tell your brain that you're going to live one way, but also give yourself that freedom and flexibility to ebb and flow so you can live your life. So there are lots of women who spend the weekend living off the 20 hour fast and they're perfectly fine to come back on Monday. There are plenty of women who take the summer off and go travel the world and they don't fast for 20 hours, but they're traveling around the world and they're not getting weight and they're not feeling sick and they're coming back and jumping in. There are times for me where I fast for 16 hours because something in my life is going on, but it's what you're willing to convince your brain and how honest you're going to be about the decisions you're going to make outside of this magic 20 hour fast. That's really going to keep you in the game and keep you on that edge of you deciding how it is you want to age for you. I've shared here before, and a lot of women have shared their whys for living this lifestyle. We want to show up at 60, 70, 80, 90 as the best version of ourselves in that decade, right? The best way to determine how it is you're going to show up for yourself is how you're living your life today. If you're able to reverse a lot of these things you're unhappy with, if you can see improvements in your skin, if you can see improvements in how you sleep, if you can see improvements in your energy and all of those things today, then there's a pretty good chance you're going to see and feel those improvements at 60, 70, 80, and even 90 years old. This is the secret sauce to aging successfully. This is the secret sauce to aging well. This is the secret sauce to you really taking control of what it is you say that you want for yourself. So in my opinion, the best fasting schedule or hours or time frame, however you want to call it, protocol for women in this aging community is the 20-hour fast and the four-hour feast. And then you decide how you want to ebb and flow through that, but convince your brain that that 20 hours is where the magic happens and your body will believe you. It'll believe the thoughts in your brain and it will do the work to, to just prove to you that that in fact is what is working for you. Okay. 
So I know I get that question a lot, like what's the best time for us to age as women? I hear someone say it messes up your hormones. Some people are writing books about different ways to fast, depending on what state of the United States or what country in the world you live in. What I just saw some YouTube video about the magic nut that is helping people lose fat consistency over time and what you tell yourself in your own thought process that leads you to feeling a certain way and making decisions is the only process that's going to help you lose weight and keep it off. There's no magic pill out there. There's no secret ingredient. There's no switching from one type of nut in your feasting window to another. That's going to be the missing link for you losing weight or body fat. It's the consistency you commit to over time, the honesty you have with your decision-making process and what you convince your brain to believe because your brain is going to lead what your body is confident with and we need to rebuild that trust and that 20-hour fast is the one in this community that is doing that work. Okay, so let me see who we have in our comment section today. This is your time to get live coaching. I'm gonna take a second here and ask that you guys please hit that like button. I know there's one on Facebook. I know there's one on YouTube. Please take a second to hit that. Leave a comment for us. Share. Do all the things to help this community grow. The more women that we have in our community that are healing their bodies and providing the proof for all of our people still sitting on the fence, the more people we're going to have jump in, the healthier community we're going to have for women moving forward, the better example we're going to set. And then we can prove that this is really the best opportunity for us in this community. And I appreciate you guys doing that. Kasia, September grad here, 24 is a game changer, lifestyle and easy reset button as well. Am I able to access the lessons from the course as a recent grad? If you went through the course in 2022, 100%, you have lifetime access to your lessons. So you can go back and pick and choose whatever lesson you need reinforcement from. You can go through the entire course again from day one. What I always recommend uh, for my members who have lifetime access is I always announce when our next course is going to start. So November the 5th will be day one for our November students. Go back through the course when you have a course starting and all that energy and excitement in the comment section is going to make you feel like you're back in class like a new student. And so schedule that. Um, and just until until then, just pick and choose some lessons to kind of reinforce um, and, and kind of get your memory sparked about what it is you're doing and why you're doing it. Lori, in your October class, I'm loving it. Craving the daily class info. That's a craving that you want to have for sure. Finding 24 is not that hard and not to be so ticked off at myself when it's 8, 6 due to circumstances. Always learning. Yeah, so the 18, 6, the 16... Eight, the 17, seven, like anything less than 20 hours, as long as you're making that conscious decision that you're going to go out and make an exception for those memory making moments. And then you already have your exit strategy and you jump right back into your 20 whenever you're ready. Like that's the big thing. The thing that people fail to do, and this is why diets have failed us so, um, so, um, awfully. I don't know if that's a word, but why diets have failed this is because they have this hard end, right? You're going to do it for 30 days. You're going to do it for six weeks. Let's do a weight loss challenge for eight weeks. And then the eight weeks come and everyone quits. This is a lifestyle you don't quit. You just pick up where you left off and you make very conscious decisions with an exit strategy and a day to jump back in. So we are not going anywhere. This lifestyle will live on forever. I am going to come back here on Mondays and Thursdays and help you guys as long as I can. So we're not going anywhere. This is a lifestyle that it's going to have no end date, and no expiration. Jenny, on a rebroadcast, you discussed someone's choice to water fast. It seemed like you were saying that it is a, a days long or weeks long fast rather than a 24 thing. Uh, well, I, I'm sorry if you got that um, out of what I was saying, but the 20 hour fast can be a water only fast. A three day fast can be a water only fast. A seven day fast can be a water only fast. You get to decide that, right? Um, uh, so yeah, the 20 hour is when you're first starting out, especially that 20 hour fast, the cleaner you can get it, the better. Some people use coffee as a tool. Um, some people use tea as a tool. Um, you want to make sure you get your electrolytes in there. But what we're trying to do is not interrupt the hormonal and chemical a work that your body has to respond to in you making the decision between the 12 hour mark and the 20 hour mark. And so for a lot of people, that is just water only. I thought after I thought water fasting simply meant no food other than water, salt, perhaps black coffee, just a clean fast, whatever the length, days, hours, what have you. Please clarify for me. So a water only fast, if someone says water only or water fasting is water. Um, 
A clean fasted state usually just means anything that's not going to interrupt your chemical or hormonal state. So for a lot of people, coffee does not do that. For a lot of people, coffee does do that. So individually, you have to decide what you want to do. If you want a fasting experience that's going to do a complete gut biome reset, then water fasting is the best option for that. If you're fasting for chemical and hormonal reset or weight loss or fat loss or those kind of things, then adding in coffee or tea in the its natural state has shown to be um, a great tool to add in. Ultimately, Jenny, you decide. Why are you fasting? What can you tolerate? Mindset-wise, what's the best decisions that you can make so that everything aligns for what it is that you say you really want for yourself? So um, hopefully that clears that up, clarifies that. Carrie, October 22 class, Diane isms that keep my mindset strong. Trust the process, feast the fast, be patient. Your body is healing and weight loss will follow. Eat like you love yourself. I manage my mind well. Girl, you got them all right there. You got them all right there. We need to make some like greeting cards or something with some of those mantras on there. But mantras are key in this process because your mind is going to play tricks on you. So if you can manage your mind, which is why fasting mindset is really the best approach to this and not the diet mindset, um, then you can really convince your brain of what it's capable of doing and what your body's willing to follow along with. When you have doubt, when you have conflicts in your brain, that's when we start to run into trouble with anything we're trying to do in life. Uh, Denise, hello from Canada. Happy Thanksgiving, September grad. Um, yes, you can access the course Feeling Calm and Enjoying 24. Thank you for reinforcing that, Denise, for sure. And happy Thanksgiving. Is it Canadian Thanksgiving. I guess it is. You guys do that in October. Sorry, I meant um, you will you will still get access to the course. Yes. Elzira, I think it is. I screwed things up last Friday and Saturday. Now I'm back on track, feeling better today. Okay, so here's what I want you to do, Elzira. I think I pronounced that right. Um, is change your vocabulary with how it is you're talking to yourself. So we in this community don't screw things up. We just make choices that we realized weren't best serving us. So you made conscious decisions that you now have identified didn't serve you. And now you're right back on track. So you just pick right up where you left off. When we use things like screwed up or I fell off the wagon is a common one. We don't use that here anymore because we know there's no wagon. You're throwing in towels that don't exist, those kind of things. That's when your brain gets really confused about the dialogue that you're using to speak to yourself. So I hope you had fun on Friday and Saturday with the decisions that you make. You don't want to rob yourself of those um those events that you were participating in with negative dialogue. So you just did things that didn't serve what it is you say that you really want. That's okay. Jump right back on track and your brain will follow really quickly. Leslie, September grad, have lost 14 pounds. Feel amazing. This is my new lifestyle. 14 pounds. She graduated in September. So what were, what is that? Five weeks away from when she started class and she lost 14 pounds. 14 pounds in this community of women is a huge, huge weight loss that was set up because of healing that was going on in her body. So Leslie, I'm so happy for you. 14 pounds is a lot. 14 pounds is like a small toddler. Like you're not carrying around that extra weight anymore. And that's mentally, emotionally, and physically freeing. So I'm hopefully, hopefully you're feeling all of that as well. Drank too much over the weekend. Yeah. So Osara, here's what you got to do. Just own that. Like, I hope you had the best time on Friday and Saturday and that you're, you're not going to erase whatever memories you made. Hopefully it was a good you know, alcoholic weekend and wasn't a bad alcoholic weekend. Like maybe hopefully you're out having fun and preserve those memories, but then remember how that felt afterward. Right. And if the after feeling is something that you're not looking forward to, or you're not happy with, then you have to remember that before your next weekend event for sure. And then just jump in Dima, just saying hi to everyone in this amazing group. Can't be live today because it's Thanksgiving here in Canada. I'm having some memory making moments with my family, preparing an apple pie. You go girl. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. My Canadian friends. I'm so happy you guys are uh, enjoying some memory making moments with your family and we'll be here when you get back girl. Diana, happy Turkey day from Canada. Thank you. Last week's show. Very informative. Got a water pick. And blew the broccoli right out of there. I know. It's insane. Also, I now uh, can, can consciously drink four times 25 ounces of water 
I was only doing two. Yep. So last week we talked about water and how you track your water in 25 ounces. You don't have to do the math. This is going to be my third one for today already. Y'all, it's noon here in Texas. So we're winning at the water game. As soon as I get that one done, I'll have 75 ounces in three times 25. Super simple. Uh, enjoy your Thanksgiving festivities for sure. Uh, yes. Happy Thanksgiving. Leslie, uh, I'm here from the August class doing 24. I just love this lifestyle and Diane support. I've lost 30 pounds and it's been easy and my health continues to improve. August class graduate lost 30 pounds. So August, September, beginning of October, 30 pounds. That's not even three months. Leslie, girlfriend, I know you're feeling amazing. So happy for you. Kathy, October class here, learning so much. Weight loss is slowing down, but I'm feeling more in control. Lost eight pounds since starting 24 in September, but only one pound in October. Yeah, remember your body cannot constantly be in weight loss mode. I recommend not weighing yourself every day. I would, I recommend maybe once a month, if not less than that, and go off how your body is looking and feeling because your body's physique is going to change for the positive way before that catches up on the scale. It's some little curse with the scale thing that's built in. I don't know why it works that way, but you're going to see and feel the changes way before the scale shows that. So trust that process. And don't rely on the scale to be the thing that proves that you're actually making progress, Kathy. Um, and it's coming. It's just that the, the body cannot constantly be in weight loss mode. And just keep telling yourself that. Kathy, I did have three memory making moments. So maybe that's why the weight loss slowed down. Yeah, could be. Who knows? I wouldn't micromanage the weight though. Here's information for jumping into class with us in November. Um, we are going to only host this one last class. So if you've been wanting to get in and you want to get in and get support and get a head start on the holiday season, I know my Canadians are already in holiday season, but if you want to get a head start with your mindset around the holidays and do things differently this year, so you're not freaking out January 1st, thinking you have to do some crazy drastic new year's resolutions to lose the holiday weight. We don't gain holiday weight here. We just don't right? And so that will be a good foundation for you to get through the holidays for sure. Uh, Jan is why I need to tune into your group every week. Um, I love it, girlfriend. We love having you here. Fiona. Hello, my friend, Dana. Um, October 22 student here. I'm learning so much and already noticing changes. That's what I love to hear. My friend noticing the changes are key. And a lot of times in a lot of these diet things that we do, we don't notice the changes. We're just looking for that date and result. And we don't want to do that here. Ginger, August 22 grad, what happened to Midday Squares? So Midday Squares, um, they, they're a growing company and they have big goals and I love them despite the fact that they don't have us um, as you know, creators or influencers or whatever, uh, helping them promote their business anymore. I think they got to that level where they have to go big -er. Um, And so they're launching in big name brand chain stores. So I just went to one of my local targets and found them fully stocked there. So they're at targets, they're at, um, if you're in Canada, I think you can get them pretty much anywhere. They're in places like Sprouts and Whole Foods and big chain kind of grocery outlets. So go buy them at the stores, um, support midday squares. They are an amazing company. I don't think you can buy them online right now. I know they had some shipping problems, which I don't even know how companies do that these days with shipping costs. So just go to the store. Um, if you find them be greedy, I'm greedy. I buy them by the case. I don't have any apologies for that. So you better get to the grocery store before me, or I'm going to buy them all and load them up in my fridge. Um, but yeah, target those kind of places. I think they're even coming to Trader Joe's. So keep an eye out for that as well. Uh, Kathy, they are now in target and no longer online. Yeah. I think they're going through their next phase of growth and they're, I think they might be trying to go public or something. So they're doing very strategic business moves. Um, so we can't blame them for that. They got to keep their business afloat and they have goals. So go support them in the grocery stores for sure. Nakia, July 22 grad. My doctor was so impressed with my test results and weight loss. Started IF in April and lost 49 pounds. Cholesterol level was slightly elevated, but doctor was not concerned with that. Yeah, and that cholesterol thing is really, really common when you start intermittent fasting. I'm not a doctor or um, uh, in the medical field or a scientist or any of those kind of things, but I've seen enough women come back and report that, and I experienced it myself. I also went and had my calcium heart score test done. So Nakia, see if your doctor will suggest that for you too. And I have zero, zero calcium deposits on my heart, which is a higher, like the number you get on your calcium heart score is a better predictor of heart disease or heart 
problems down the road and I had a zero. So I have naturally high cholesterol and I have zero calcium heart test score. So that's a better indication of where I'm at. My doctor's, my cardiologist is not worried about me at all. So just remember that that cholesterol does tend to rise with intermittent fasting. I tell my brain that it's because my body is processing the cholesterol and it's moving through my bloodstream, which I personally would rather have than have it sitting in on my heart or calcifying in my arteries. So go get a secondary test and just make sure everything goes okay with your heart and talk to a cardiologist and see where it goes from there. Gail, so excited to make a live. I'm a September graduate, down 17 pounds, loving this new lifestyle. By the way, I found the midday squares at Target. They are so delicious. Yeah, go support your local Target um, and go buy yourself some midday squares. They are the best. And I just found out that in December, they're coming out with a new flavor, uh, cookie dough. So keep your eyes open for that. I'll let you guys know when they come in. And of course, I will test taste them and report back. Kathy, I know that soy is a no-no, but what are your thoughts on liquid aminos or coconut aminos as a soy sauce alternative? Yeah, I see that's a great alternative for sure. Um, and you know, not everyone responds to soy in the same way. A lot of us here in this community do. So I do ask you to at least give it a test and see if you can figure that out for yourself. But coconut, coconut aminos and liquid aminos, as long as there's no soy in them, are a great substitution for sure. Christine, August 22 grad here. I'm struggling. I need to get into watching your videos daily. You're so inspiring. Go back to your class. Start at day one. Watch the welcome. Listen to the FAQs. Do the first lesson. By the end of the first week, Christine, you will be back in it. Life has a tendency to pull us off track. you got to get back on track. And that's why I come here every Monday and Thursday to reinforce how amazing this lifestyle is. All my graduates are always welcome to come back and, and listen and get re-encouraged and listen to the comments of your friends for proof that it's possible. Just get yourself back in. Do not spend any time wavering in self-doubt or regret or shame or guilt or any of those things. Christine, today at... I don't know what time zone you're in, but it's 1232 in the central time zone. You're back 100% right now because you made that decision. And I'm a 22 grad. Grateful to be live today. Love the 24 doing one meal a day today since I have a post wedding dinner tonight. And with the drive in and visiting my son first, I can't fit the four hour window. What a great way to make a plan for a one meal a day. And this is where I always say lean into the fast and when in doubt, fast it out. Most people in society would panic with that busy day and they would try to ram a bunch of food in for fear right? Of not having an opportunity to eat. And you, my friend, are building an opportunity to fast. And I love that for you. Way to make a mindset shift. Uh, October class student, loving it. Love it. Show Schiltz. I always have to say your name super slow so I don't mispronounce you. Uh, but I love having you here with us. Ginger, Kathy, Roberts, can you guy, can you guys, can you buy in boxes? I think you're talking about the midday squares 100%. So they come in a sleeve of, I think, 12 squares. And so what I do when I go to the store is I pull out the box that has the individual squares for the person who doesn't know any better to buy them individually. And I reach back and I buy a fully unopened sleeve of 12 squares. And that's what I take to the cash register. And I just buy them in boxes of 12. And then they fit really pretty in my refrigerator that way too. Uh, Tina, love doing 24 now, two and a half months and down 14 pounds. Gave up my one thing, coffee creamer. I know it's that one thing. Haven't missed it a bit. I realized it was more of a habit than anything else. Losing 14 pounds tastes better than creamer. Tina, I couldn't have said that any better than what you just said, right? Losing 14 pounds and feeling confident in your own skin will always taste better than that one little thing that we're holding on to a fear of thinking we can't live without it. And now you don't have to worry about if you're out of coffee creamer or if it's if it's past its expiration date or any of those things, right? You just get to have your coffee with joy and not all those extra things you have to stress out about. Inner peace. Daya is getting me through the fast with these live videos. I love it. Okay. So here's something I want to share with you guys before too many of you jump off. We still have 275 people here, which I'm super excited about. Um, I will not be here Thursday, I know, and I won't be here next Monday. I know I'm going on a business trip. I leave Wednesday to California and I won't be back until Monday late. So I'm going to miss you guys Thursday and Monday. But here's what I promise to do for you. Make sure you're following me on, I'll do it on YouTube and Facebook. I will post a link 
to an older video, one of these that we have done, so you can feel like you were here live. I'll post it to go live at noon Central Standard Time, so everything will be you know just the same as it is if I can do that, and you can watch a, a video from our playlist um, on intermittent fasting from our community, and you guys can all hang around together, come back and just do comments with each other if you want. So I won't leave you high and dry. I just won't be here live, and I'll post one of our uh, videos from our community so you have something to tune into so we don't want to break that habit. Kathy, uh, I haven't looked for them yet. I plan to buy midday squares at some point, but until then, I lose. But if, until you lose more weight, yeah, for sure. Kristen, I don't think I could ever do a twenty-hour fast. Now, I didn't think I could ever do a twenty-hour fast. Now I find it so easy, and I feel so good. I'm in the October twenty-two class and loving it. Yeah, we our brain plays tricks on us, which is why I keep reinforcing like this is the sweet spot, and we have the proof from the other women in our community who were once Kristen, right, and could, didn't think she could do a twenty-hour fast. Um, it's where the magic happens, right? But we fear going without food, and that fear of going without food that we have is making us very sick. It's making us hold on to weight. It's making Making us age prematurely. And so it's not a fear that is serving us. So what I want you guys to do is really rethink a lot of those thoughts that are going in your head. And if these women who are just like you and probably stumbled upon us here on the internet, if they can do it, then that is proof that you can do it too. So don't let that fear hold you back from you living your best life. Carrie, 22 grad. This class was the best thing I've ever done for myself. So many positive things, but the best isn't the weight loss. It's the increase in energy. Yes. At age 66, who doesn't want more energy? I don't care what age you're at. We have women this month in our class that are in their 30s and 40s with small kids at home and are loving this lifestyle. They're getting their energy back. They're getting their brain back. They're getting their enthusiasm for life back. All the things come back when we start to look and feel our best from the inside, right? And doing it in your most authentic way. So Carrie, girlfriend, I'm so happy for you. So happy for you. The weight loss is great, but all the other things are better. Tammy, if your fasting feasting window goes longer than four one day, but you still want 20 hours until breaking the fast the next day, is that okay? Yeah, you just got to know that, you know, we want to stay within that 24 hours for this type of lifestyle that we're living. So if you go longer on one side, at some point, something's going to have to like take a hit. So if you shorten one, so even if you shorten one day, right? So if you do like a five hour feast, then you just have to catch yourself up. I say consistency is better than trying to get the magic 24. So one day is going to be shorter. One day is going to be longer. You just got to take that hit. But the consistency of the windows really is proving to be the best thing because we do have some appetite expectancy hormones and we have these circadian rhythms we're dealing with. So getting back to your normal time on the clock of fasting and feasting is the best way to go. Just know with an exception, you take a hit on one and a hit on the other, but you're going to get yourself back in balance. No big deal. Lori, 24 fasting for three months and gave up wine a month ago. One weird but exciting thing is I have noticed my hands look younger, not as creppy and wrinkled. Even the age spots seem lighter. That's this, my friend, right here. The 16 to 20 is where you get, and this right here, even the 17 to 20 is really where you're getting the deepest benefits from your body in that stage of autophagy, even within just a 20 hour fasting window, especially when you get it really clean, right? And so you're reaping those benefits for sure. And you don't have to do multiple days of going without food. 20 hours of clean fasting consistently or 20 hours of, you know, keeping your coffee clean and your tea clean consistently over time reverses the signs of aging because your body is going to heal in so many magical ways. So girlfriend, I love that. You should go apply to be like a hand model or something. That would be fun. Uh, Susan, uh, and I have community October 22 class week two and learning so much. 20 hours is so much easier than all the health symptoms I was experiencing for being insulin resistant. It is so much easier to fast for 20 hours than it is to manage all of the things that we tend to have to manage as we start to age. It's just easier. Spend less time at the grocery store. You spend less time in the kitchen. You save money. You're not running back and forth to doctor's offices. You're not wondering why you feel like crap, like all the things, right? Even like skincare and stuff, right? Becomes so simple when you start to see the benefits of what happens when you heal from the inside out, when you start really paying attention to some of those food intolerances or wreaking havoc on how we see ourselves with the bloating and the 
crappy skin and all the things that happen, right? You can reverse the signs of aging and it is so much easier than having to go out and buy a bunch of gimmicky things. Now, trust that there are some things that we also want to include as we start to age to kind of help us stay ahead of the aging process, but it's going to be so much more economical and so much more beneficial if you're doing the healing from the inside out as well. I call that the double edge, right? You heal from the inside out and you do things from the outside in. So uh, yeah, it is so much easier than having to deal with illness. Illness and insulin resistance is now an illness. Gloria, I said it before and I will say it again. 24 is IF really works. No more hot flashes at 60. Yes. More energy, basically eating what I want during my feasting window, no cravings. There you go. Okay, so let's define eating whatever you want during the feasting window. So Gloria, and maybe you can reinforce this in the secondary comment, but when you feel good and when you look good and you're not running to these emotional food cravings, eating whatever you want takes on a whole new definition. And a lot of people think that eating whatever you want means what is displayed oftentimes to us on the internet, like, you know, ramen pizza in your mouth or drinking all the wine or eating all the chocolate and, you know, eating the donuts and having all the drinks and all the things. And is that what you really want? For a lot of us, it might not be, right? And so even leveling up your game in that regard and redefining eating whatever you want when you don't have cravings and you don't have all these mental and emotional connections to food helps you up game up your game on its own. And so, Gloria, I'm glad that you are living your best life, my friend. Um, Kathy, October 20 class here. My hands look younger too. All the water and clean fasting is helping my skin. Yes, hydration is key. And remember, hydration is more than just water. We need to get those minerals in, the calcium, the potassium, the magnesium, and the sodium. And you can get them through just basic supplementation. I know I get the LMNT question all the time. If that's the route you want to go, you know, go ahead with that. You can get those through just basic supplementation as well and save yourself a little bit of money. And if you're doing those kind of things, make sure you're keeping those in your uh, feasting window, not your fasting window. Sandy, my girl, the IF course is life-changing and the midlife mindset shift course is beyond helpful. Please consider joining Change My Life so that I can show up for my family and my best self. And my girl, Sandy, she's doing it all. She's in our midlife mindset shift course as a graduate of the IF course. She is... Sandy, I have to say you're like one of the most valuable players in that group for sure. You bring such enthusiasm and such a great attitude and you're so supportive and so helpful to your other course members. I, I just love having you in that group and thank you so much for all that you do for everyone else as well as yourself and your family. Roxy, been doing 24 for three months now, at least four days a week and find it amazing how energy, how much energy I have. Still need some adjustments and fine tuning, but getting there, you changed my life. Oh girl, thank you for saying that. Um, here's what I want you guys, and I love it and I appreciate it. Thank you for saying that. I'll take that compliment 100%. But I also want you to remember that you had to be willing to have your life changed, right? And so give yourself some kudos for being open-minded and giving it a try, especially against all the naysayers, because I know they're out there and all the um, other advice that is telling us women that we shouldn't be doing this. You decided to show up for yourself. So make sure you give yourself some kudos for that too. I'm so happy for you. Laura, what do you recommend eating in your four hour win window? Okay. I don't take, just listen to what I'm going to say with this advice. You have to figure food out for yourself. So eat the things in your four hour window, Laura, that allow you to look and feel your best and allow you to have your next fast be very, very comfortable for you. So we feast to fast. A lot of people teach, I have fasted, therefore now I can feast. And we don't do it that way. I want you to think about what you're choosing in your feasting window and how you think that's going to make you feel the next day when you're working through that 20 hour fast, especially these hours here. And then you're, you got to listen to the signs and signals your body's sending you because it's going to give you feedback when you do things in your decision-making process. Do you feel great? Do you feel energized? Does your mind seem clear? Are you managing your next fast well? If you can't say yes to all of those, then you have to reconfigure your feast. I'm not going to tell you what to eat. You got to figure that out for yourself. Susan, August 22 grad, down 30 pounds since starting 24. Nothing else will work. Do the course. Yes, 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 yes. Susan, I'm so happy for you. 30 pounds, 30 pounds. Like think about, and if you've had kids, you would know, or even picking up nieces and nephews or whatever, 30 pounds is a lot of weight. You don't have to carry around an extra little person anymore on your body. That is going to serve you so well for your future self and your current self. And Susan, 
Big hugs to you, my friend. I'm so happy for you. Rachel, trust her. Join the class. May 22 grad. Changed my life. 53 years old and tried losing weight for several years. I lost 22 pounds between May and August, but even better, I feel amazing. Join the class. Rachel, the feeling amazing part is such a win for me as a coach because I have been in this industry for 30 years and I have seen women gain and lose weight, gain and lose weight, gain and lose weight and not feel amazing. So the fact that you're losing weight and feel amazing is just such a bonus and it's because of this. This little magic window that we've created for ourselves and being really honest with what we do from here to hear is key. And it sounds like you figured that out. And I'm so happy for you. Ginger, August 22 grad, lost 20 pounds, went on a cruise, had memorable moments for 13 days, only gained three pounds, rinse and repeat, love this lifestyle. Yeah. And I bet you, Ginger, that that three pounds is probably just inflammation from if you had to fly to get on your cruise. Right. And so, um, I'm going on a trip Wednesday, like I said, through next Monday. I'm going to share in my Instagram. Maybe I'll try to do some like YouTube shorts and some stuff on Facebook too um, to share with you how I travel. I don't bring it. I don't buy it. I don't accept it. I'm going to be in conferences all day, y'all. I'm going to fast so long and so clean. I cannot wait. It's going to be super fun. Um, and how many people think about that when they go on a trip, right? I'm even going to luncheons every day where the lunch is free and I, I don't care. Like it's not going to be a problem for me. I'm just going to go drink my water and probably have some iced tea and just whatever. Like a free lunch always costs us something, right? And so if I don't feel like eating, I'm not going to partake and I don't really care. So I'll, I'll, sh I'll model all that for you guys when I'm on my trip. Donna, I'm in the October class. I'm loving the course. If you are on the fence about doing it, go on and hop over. <laughs> you will not regret it. I promise. Yeah. Jump on down off the fence and jump on in to class with us. It's fun. I love all over you guys. I answer your questions. I make sure that you feel confident and comfortable. I make you think and I make sure that you're honest with yourselves. I will not cheat you out of that experience. I am a tough love coach. I'm a tough love coach here on YouTube and Facebook. And I'm a tougher love coach when you get into class because you made an investment. And I want to make sure that you get your time and your money's worth while you're in class. So I make you show up for yourself and do the work. And it will change your life. I promise you that. JB, how can you tell if coffee interrupts your hormonal process? Usually, you know, if you're, if you can't metabolize it, like for a lot of people, they get anxious, they can't sleep at night, they get the jitters, like all of those kind of things. For me, when I drink coffee, I just get a nice even kill, like sense of energy, but I still stay calm. And so that's how I know that I can metabolize it well. So if you feel negative effects of coffee, that usually means that you can't metabolize it well. Laura, what do you recommend eating to your four, four hour feasting window? I think I recommend, I told you guys that if you jump into class with us, I give you a guide and I teach you about how I teach you how to identify if the food choices you're making aren't serving you well. So I teach you how to figure that out for yourself in class. There is nothing more empowering. There's nothing more freeing. There's nothing more attractive than a woman who knows how to take care of herself. So I teach you how to get all of that back for you. I'm not going to tell you how to eat. I want you to live on your own accord. And so I teach you how to do that in class. Cindy, I am driving. Can someone send me the link for the 11.4 course, please? Girlfriend, when you get done driving, just go back to this video in the description box and in the comment section, I have pasted it on Facebook. It's super easy to find. You'll have a direct link. It's just for todaysagingwoman.com find out more with hyphens between the find out more words, or you can send me an email. We'll get you in class. Um, or just put a comment, um, or I'll post a, I'll post a link for you after I get off of here in your, in your comment, Tracy, I had a new aha moment. I am taking re mag remag and loving it. The aha is that I cannot drink mineral water while doing it. I don't know why it is just making my body get diarrhea. I know it isn't the re mag. So I'm staying away from the mineral water. How has anyone else has anybody else has had this experience? Okay. So here's the thing about magnesium, magnesium that you consume and goes through your digestive process is something that can cause you to have loose stools. That's what magnesium does. That's why magnesium and calcium are often um, suggested to be taken together because calcium can be a constipator and magnesium is a stool softener. So that's why they often go together. Knowing that if you're consuming a bunch of magnesium, so mineralized water with a magnesium supplement, you of course are going to get 
loose earth stools because you're doubling up on that. So it's not that the mineral water is doing that. It's that you're consuming a lot of magnesium at the same time. So if one or the other is the best and it sounds like you picked the one that works for you and that's awesome. Marilyn, I've lost nine pounds. I'd have six more to go to reach my goal. I intend to continue IF, but don't want to keep losing. So once you reach your goal, your body does kind of get comfortable. And then when we allow memory making moments and we're not super strict and super, and we're not being, um, denying ourselves of what we enjoy in life, your body will find its happy place. You won't lose any more than your body feels like it can lose. But remember the weight that you have in your head is determined by your brain and not your body system. So give yourself some flex on the weight loss and where you want your set point to be. Pamela, August 22 grad, my mindset changed forever. Never going back. Take the classes. It's worth it. Yeah. We love that mindset shift. That means you will always be successful despite whatever's happening in your life. And even if you go away from intermittent fasting or something happens where you have a season where you maybe have a little bit of perimenopausal or menopausal um, symptoms come back, you will jump back in and reinforce what you've learned because you already have the belief that it works because you prove to yourself that it does. So this is not going anywhere and it will always work for you if you work for it. Gail from Florida. Today's my first day to 24 after the hurricane. I never want to get away from this lifestyle, even when life gets out of control. Yes, my friend. And, and I know you in Florida, you, um, you guys in Florida are going to be having some rebuild for quite a while. So you have to manage that life and circumstances with how you want to look and feel. So use fasting to get you through that and keep your brain empowered. Use it for keeping your mindset strong and the choices that you make serving you, my friend. And for those of you who didn't watch last week, we are doing a fundraiser in our community for Hurricane Ian. And I just talked to the people at Team Rubicon over the weekend. We can make sure that the funds that we're raising are specifically going to Ian. And that's exactly what we're going to do here in this community. I will post a link um, in my community on YouTube for how to donate to, to Team Rubicon a dollar five dollars it doesn't have to be a huge donation we have enough women in our community in size and numbers and power that anyone who contributes any amount is going to help the effort my goal is to raise ten thousand dollars by the end of november i will post the links on facebook and youtube later today so if you want to donate to help the efforts to rebuild florida and the east coast um we are doing that here as a community and we would love to have you guys with us uh so shield after last week's live i took my water pick out of storage forgot how great it works i know it is absolutely amazing i don't know what i don't know why y'all are keeping that a secret for me i didn't i had no clue saw an ad on instagram i thought i'll give it a try uh, if you're interested in the water pick i put that in the description box as well uh kathy go to the youtube description box and i put the one that i picked i love it because it's a one device type of unit the water reservoir is actually in the water pick i'm going to take it with me on my trip to california um it's just like a big toothbrush basically electric toothbrush uh, but the description is in my um the link is in the description box uh in youtube so go check it out are there clear symptoms that help you know if coffee is messing up your hormonal process? Yeah. If you're not, if you're not seeing and feeling the results, despite the fact that you're doing this and the only thing you have in your window is coffee, I take coffee out for a week and see if something changes for you. You have to test everything. What section of grocery store did you find them at Target? In my Target, they were around the lettuce and the like the refrigerated vegetables on an end piece. Um, and they were there with like a lot of uh, kombuchas and those kind of things. So other little like refrigerated health bars. Bought some day scores at Target the other day. They are really good. They are really good. I love them. What department? Okay, we already did that. Fiona. Found the midday squares at Target. Okay, notice the sugar content. Is that healthy? Can you tell us the benefits of the chocolate again? You guys go read their website. I'm not here to pitch midday squares. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you about them for sure. But if you want to do the research on them, go to their website. They're very transparent about what their ingredients are. They're the healthiest thing I could find in the form of chocolate and like a food bar like that. Uh, so go do your research on their website. So Shana, Sash. What am I saying that so more complicated than it needs to be? Shauna is your name. Shauna. Uh, for the hi Diane, for the person asking about the soy alternative, check our Bragg liquid amino sprouts and natural grocers carry it. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Lori, September 22, current uh, midlife mindset shift student. LDL is very high, open-minded, 
MD runs an in-depth liquid panel, excellent low triglycerides, high HDL, low LDL, has more of the good LDL particles, my cardiac calcium score zero. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about anything, especially, I hope your doctor told you that. We're in California, you're going, I'm in Long Beach. I'm going to be in Orange County at a marketing conference uh, Wednesday through Monday of next week. So it'll be a busy time. Uh, Judy, FYI to anyone that is in Toronto and surrounded area, Mountain Valley is available at Cedar Springs Water Delivery. There you go. Get yourself some Mountain Valley. Susan, yes, I totally had that too. I don't know what you're talking about, but you can refresh us. Uh, Marianne, I looked for them and could not find them at Target. Y'all, we're like a, just a big advertisement for Midday Squares. I hope they appreciate us. Patsy, hello everyone. September 22 grad. Fasting is easy now. Working on being consistent with exercise. Very busy these days. Thanks, Diane. Here. Here's the deal with exercise that I want you guys to remember. Exercise is one of the three pillars we work on, the fasting, long, feasting, well, training, smart. We call that the trifecta to aging successfully. The, the training smart part is so we can physically stay in the game. Here's how I manage when, when, um, when, when exercise is one of those things that has to kind of fall off my list of priorities, right? And I do that very consciously is I give myself some grace and I lean hard into the fast and hard into the feast, which is not always easy to do when you're training smart because we have to remember that we're pulling from three or asking of three areas of our life, right? And so oftentimes when I'm training hard, I've got to lighten up on the fasting long and the feasting well. Feasting well meaning I just eat more to support what I want to do in my training. So I just ebb and flow them. When I pull back on one of the levers, I push harder on the other two. So just lean into your fasting and your feasting and can, create that opportunity for yourself. What, why do you think our brains are so happy with us doing 24? I honestly think that's the way we were designed to live. I don't know. There's no proof of that, but there's just too many people who are, who are thriving in that. And I think as we start to age and our body chemistry changes, we, our demand for food is just less. Maybe it's a survival instinct. I don't know. That just works. So there's a lot I just stopped questioning and I just go with the proof that my body's providing and it's providing this amazing proof. So I don't worry about too many things. I just go with the flow and I listen to the signs and signals my body is sending me and I just trust that for sure. Uh, I think it's Atlanta Lady Leah one. Hi all. I've been trying fasting this week since my 70 year old mom just told me she is now down to her ideal weight due to IF. How embarrassing that my 54 year old daughter is 60 pounds overweight. Wake up call that her 60 year old 50. It's not embarrassing girl. It's not embarrassing. Don't take that as embarrassment. Look up to your mom as encouragement. And this is what we do in this community as moms and as mentors and aunts and grandmothers and all the titles that we wear. We are leading this new revolution for women to live a happy and healthy life. Like my daughter fasts. She's 16. We don't force it on her. It's just the way our lifestyle is. It's the way our house operates. It's not that big of a deal to skip a meal. We don't stress about it. So and I'm hoping that living this kind of lifestyle for her is going to mean that she's going to be able to live a life as a woman with no food issues, no body image issues, no weight issues, no health issues, any of those things, right? So lean into your mom's example and don't be embarrassed. Let go of the embarrassment and turn that into enthusiasm and drive and this, I'm going to crush this because my mom did it and she provided this amazing example for me. And girlfriend, if you haven't done it yet, jump into class with us. We will get you there quick. We will get you there quick. That 60 pounds will be a second thought of yours because you're going to be able to see what this environment does for you and you can do it with some great, uh, great women. Um, and then you can just be like, hey, thanks, mom, for setting the example. And imagine how great that'll be for her. Uh, I am plant-based. That is fantastic, my friend. I love when you guys find your way of eating that works for you. Sandy, love you, girlfriend. Uh, Carla, October class. I was so hesitant to join, but so glad I did. I'm learning many idiosyncrasies about myself, which are eye-opening and are helping me be successful at fasting. Yes. And it has nothing to do with rules other than if you're going to fast, fast, and if you're going to feast, feast, right? And if you're going to feast, feast well. So you're figuring it all out for you and you're unlocking all those things that held you stuck with your mindset. So Carla, I'm super happy for you. And I'm glad you got off the fence, my friend. Gloria, occasionally I eat pizza, not a lot, but I eat clean. Yep. That's the secret. Miriam. Hi, Diane. Love IF. This has changed my mindset. Lost 24 pounds. Sep sep September 22 grad. Just bought a water pick, an Oral-B brush, and love it. Thanks. You're welcome. 
and your your teeth and your gums and your overall dental health are going to thank you. You're going to go to your next dentist appointment and they're going to be like, girl, whatever you're doing, keep it up, right? And they're going to think that you're mouthwashing and flossing and doing all of these over-the-counter things and you're just keeping a clean mouth. So can't wait to hear you report back to us how your next dentist appointment goes. Um, Lori, I thought hands looked younger until until temp and 30s. I wash my hands a lot in the medical field. I guess some things don't change. You probably just got to keep that hydration on your hands, right? So make sure if you're washing your hands a lot, they're probably getting dehydrated and you're probably using a lot of hand sanitizers, which have a lot of alcohol in them. Get some argan oil. Lori, go to Frey. Um, you can get the links or you can send me a message. Go to the Frey website. You can use my discount code, D-Y-A-N-N. -N. Get yourself some good lotion from them and throw some argon oil. I argon oil all winter long because it's so dry here in Texas. I put it in my skincare. I put drops in my lotion and rub it into my hands. It will save you for sure. And they have a little bottle. You could just put it at your desk at work and put it in your little pocket. And when you hydrate your hands, just drop a couple drops of that in there. And it's super clean um, as well. So um, reach out to me. And I'll give you all the information and specifically what you can get from them that'll help you for sure. Wendy, I'm fasting more than 20 hours. Is fasting more than 20 hours beneficial? It's not a problem, right? But we're trying to create this just mindset of 20 hours of fasting, four hours of feasting so that you can reap all the benefits, but also still have a life. If you find yourself in a position where like, uh, going to visit her son or going to a wedding, she's only eating one meal a day. So she's probably going to fast 23 hours. Like don't fear fasting. So 23 hours is great. Some, some people fast 36 hours. I teach inside the midlife mindset shift course, how to create some fun little fasting lifestyles that you can do some prolonged fasting where you know, you just want to do a little deep, deeper detox, but you don't have to go several days without food. So it's all just what you design it to be, but there's definitely not a problem with it. Just don't use it for desperate reasons is the only thing I recommend. Loving the October class down eight pounds. Oh my gosh. Is it Leah? Lay? Leah, I think. Uh, eight pounds in October. It's October the 10th, y'all. That's almost a pound a day. So happy for you. Sherry, July 22 grad and attending Midlife Mindset course and really enjoyed the live Zoom and looking forward to our next one. Yeah, I'm going to post today. I'm not going to be able to do lives for you guys this week inside of there, but we'll jump back in next week because I will be gone Wednesday and Thursday when we usually do them. Um, but there's plenty of stuff for you guys to catch up on. Marlene, August 22 grad. I only lost 11. Okay, Marlene, September 22 grad. I'm going to rephrase this for you. She lost 11 pounds right? And got a great report from her doctor and having lunch with old friends. She said, oh my God, your skin looks awesome and you look younger. What are you doing? Told her about you and IF. So do you see how much better that sounds? Marlene is a September 22 grad and she lost 11 pounds and got a report from her doctor that, uh, that everything she's doing is great. She had lunch with her friends. They think she looks younger. Like all the wins, Marlene, take away those discounting words. They're not serving you. That's a mindset shift. Vanessa, two months now, feeling great, learning so much about myself, saving money for class. Cannot wait to have you, girl. Try to jump in with us for November. Registration's open till the 4th. Here's what happens in class. You will save money. So get your money pulled together to jump into class and you will pay yourself back once you get into class because you will spend so much less on little things trying to make you, you know, feel better or emotional connections to things, you will put that money right back in your pocket. It's a money saver. Alexandra, in October class, when when are the live YouTubes and live Instagrams this week? Please love in the course. So tomorrow is my last um, Instagram live. I'll announce it tomorrow. I'll put a schedule up for you guys too so you know uh, because I won't be uh, around Friday. I'll be in class myself on Friday. So tomorrow's the last Instagram live um, and then no lives for the rest of the week in anything that I do just because I'll be gone. Eve, I love to eat after 10 p.m. My current medications take my, away my appetite from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., but my husband loves to have coffee with me in the morning and needs to eat early. Uh, I don't I, I don't know what help means. Um, I would say jump into class, Eve, and we can get you settled in there for sure. That's all. I don't want to – I don't know enough to give you advice on that one. Uh, JB, you're welcome, my friend. 
Um, Eve, Diane, please give me some guidelines here. I can't, you've got to figure out what works for you and your life or jump into class with us and we can work some stuff out in the community group. Sal, loving the October class. Thank you for all the great information. You are welcome. Mel, join the class and get your life back. I love the hike, but hip pain was not letting me. Pain is gone. I was able to go camping and hiking pain free. Course graduate. She loved to hike, but her hip pain was keeping her from living her best life. Now, as a graduate, the pain in her hip is gone and she is living her best life again, hiking and camping. Girl, it doesn't get better than that. What do I do if most enjoyable eating times after 10? Okay, so girlfriend, you can't ask me that in a bunch of different ways. I'm not going to be able to answer you, Eve. What I recommend doing is you can book a consult call with me. You can just plan some things out in your calendar. You got to figure out what your most authentic life is. And then if you're on medication, that can be um, reduced or taken away with improving some, some things you have going on with you, then that would be the goal for sure. Let's remember to share our tips with Diane. No holding out. Yes. Um, what do you think of pure celery juice instead of coffee or tea? I'm in this month's class. I'm getting um, great so far. I would recommend not putting in celery juice until you're graduated. I want you to go through the class the way the class is taught. Then when you're done and you're a graduate, test out celery juice and let us know how it works for you. Brian and Beth, I'm hi Diane, doing and feeling great. Just got done doing a 23 one hot flash is getting better, loving the class. And so enjoying listening to you. There you go. Hot flashes are getting better. Wouldn't we all love that without medication, by the way, Sherry, curious about your meeting convention you're going to in California. It's a business marketing training convention kind of thing is what I'm going to. Uh, Eve, I feel lightheaded without food in the morning. Um, where do you answer these comments? You have to jump into class for me to get personal with you. So it's really hard for me to give you one-on-one -on -one advice when I, you're just, you know, I just don't know. I don't want to mislead you. So jump into class or you can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Um, um, Sal, should you add more calories in your feasting window? If you work out moderately to heavy seven days a week, your body's going to tell you that for sure. If you're not feeling supported, if you're not feeling like you're gaining an advantage in your workout, you might need to support that with a little bit more uh, in your feasting window for sure. Marianne saw a, ten year, saw a 10 year younger friend who I hadn't seen for a while. How are you getting younger? Did you have work done? I accepted the compliment and told her I have clean eating and walking four miles a day. I love it. Have a staff at Target look up me. Okay, we're going to pass those mid I got to get out of here. It's been an hour. Catherine, I did well with one meal a day, but I did stop and went back to 14, 16 hours. It's hard getting back to 18, 20 hours. Love all you do. I've lost 50 pounds, but I want more. Go back to the 20 then, girlfriend. Tony, where is your class info? Would like to join. It's www.4todays, with a S, agingwoman.com. You can find it there. That's just my main website. If you want to get on our email list or register for class, then you do a forward slash find hyphen out hyphen more. There's a link also in the Facebook description box and the comment section for you, Tony, if you want to go there. And I think I will post it again just so it's fresh. Um, or you can message me. I will always share with you in a message as well. Your advice to pause and ask ourselves what we really want. I simply can't stop thinking of the Spice Girl song. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want, right? Collab with the Spice Girls would not be fun. That would be a blast. Marilyn, when is the fa fasting window? When in the fasting window should I exercise? When it best fits your life. So don't try to get it perfect. Within your fasting window, just pick a time that best suits working out for you, and that's the best time. Karen, how have you heard of drinking hydrogen water? I have not. Robin, I'm fasting 22 hours and for about 10 days, didn't notice much weight loss. But then in the past three days, I've lost three pounds. Is that normal? I've lost 12 pounds overall since August 12th. My goal is 15 more. You've lost 12 pounds since August 12th. So I would just win on that one. And there's nothing that's normal because everybody loses weight differently. Um, yes, it's Thanksgiving today. Enjoy that. Valerie, Marlene, 11 pounds is excellent. Good work. Yes. hundred percent. Brian, is it best to stay on 24 best AM doing this for health benefits? What do you recommend for when you reach your goal? Just keep rinsing, and repeating what got you to your goal. Lisa, Diane, August 22 grad. I'm happy to say that my lumen numbers are getting better. Lumen flex up by 70% and morning glucose is now below 100. Thanks for your, all your ideas. Uh, to, and things to think about. You're welcome, my friend. There's always a way to fix those things, right? We just got to slow down and think about what our body is doing and what we're asking of it. And it sounds like you did that. And I'm so happy. Judy, August 21 grad. 
down 94 pounds. I shot two weddings over the last month, which I haven't done in years. I managed 12 hours on my feet like I was 20 years younger. So I'm guessing you're a photographer. You guys, she lost 94 pounds. She's an August 21 grad. Can we give her some love in the comments, please? Judy, my friend, I'm so happy for you. And it sounds like you're back to working. That is amazing. Girl, love you. Love that for you. Gwen, I bought out the bars at Target too. You go, girl. Let's buy out those bars for sure. Okay. So all the links for joining. I'm just going to leave this up there, Judy, because girl, I'm just going to save that for you for the rest of the day. 94 pounds. That's a person. You are crushing life. You're back to work on your feet for 12 hours. Like you were 20 years younger, but you're not, you're just you 94 pounds lighter. And I bet you're feeling amazing girl hats off to you. I'm so, so happy for you. And look at all these people are giving you so much love, uh, in the comment section way to go community, go give Judy some love, let her know she's doing good things. And now Judy, you just gave someone who's wondering if it could work for them, the confidence to know that it can for sure. So happy for you. Okay. Next class starts July the 5th. I will not be here on Thursday and next Monday. I will post a video for you guys to watch in place of me not being here. Please show up and watch the video. Stay in the game mentally, physically, and emotionally. And I will be back here um, net the following Thursday. If you need anything from me, I am still working. I just won't be live. You can send me messages. You can send me emails. I will talk about the course as I always do because it is my passion and purpose and responsibility in life to let every woman know that we have a space for her in class and she deserves to look and feel her best and live her most authentic life like our friend Judy here is doing. So get yourself in class with us before the end of the year. November will be the last class. If you're interested in supporting our fundraising efforts for Hurricane Ian and the East Coast, please make sure you go to the description box. I will also post something in both community places so you guys have a direct link to donate. I think it is our purpose and again, our passion and our responsibility as a community to come together to help those in need. And any small donation that you can do will, in fact, do that. If you need anything from me, like Frey skincare information, just message me. I will get that to you. If you need anything about Midday Squares, just go to your Target. That seems to be where everybody is finding them. I'm here for you guys, even though I won't be live. So do not be strangers. Uh, you call me if you need me any way you can. Okay, look at Judy. I hope you're reading all of those comments that are coming across on YouTube. I know you might not be able to see them on Facebook, but girl... Congratulations on losing 94 pounds. Awesome job. Um, Fiona says save money, get in worth every penny. I'm actually saving more money. Yeah. So if you're saving up to join class, you will save money once you get in. Look at all these high fives, Judy. You have just crushed it. And all these people are just loving on you. I hope you're taking all that in and owning that as a huge compliment uh, for the amazing things that you've done for yourself. And now you're doing it for all these other people as well. Okay, I got to run. We have gone an hour and 10 minutes and all the, oh my God, your videos are too long. People are going to come out and yell at me, which, you know, I don't care. I love spending time with you guys here. I love your particip participation in the comments. Please know I come live for you. I come live for you in the comments live here so you can get your questions and comments answered and so we can love all of our people who are winning at this. I come on live and stay as long as I need to for those of you who want to watch the replay and find value in the comments and the questions that I answer here when we are live in our community. So I'm here for you. Please watch this in segments if you want to, but I promise you, if you tune in and you connect with this community, you are going to find a golden nugget either from me or some amazing woman in this community who has changed her life around by trusting what we know is the best fasting protocol here for us. And that's the 20 hour fast and the four hour feast. I'm going to miss you guys, but I'll be in touch. I'm going to try to do some shorts here on YouTube. Like I said, I'll post some stuff to my Facebook. I'll stay connected on Instagram as well, because I can't go a whole week without talking to you guys. Um, and I'll see you guys around. Okay. Have a good one.